What's exciting is we're taking what's traditionally been the entertainment center of the home, the television, and transforming it to also become the communication center of the home. If you think about a TV, it's got almost everything you need to be the video conference center of the home with the simple addition of a camera and microphone, which we've added here. So that's so, basically what's new. So the camera and the microphone is just the TV connected to the Internet. Is that right? And the addition of our software, which, of course. which Panasonic has built right in. Okay, terrific. That's right. So here we just take a television with the simple press of a button. We go to their Viera cast menu. Go up to Skype. Click Skype. And now all of a sudden we're in Skype. And here I can see my contact list. And I can click down to Grandma and Grandpa. Press a button. And make a video call. Something so easy my daughter or my mother or anyone in between could do it. Perfect. And suddenly the family room is now the video conference center Absolutely. of the home. And so far it's been, that sort of video conferencing has been pretty much um, confined to the PC at this point, right? So this is sort of a breakthrough into another room, into a new market? That's right. And for Skype, video calling has been a really big focus of ours for the past couple of years. Now over 35% of calls on Skype our video calls, wow. and given that Skype accounts for more than 8% of the world's international calling minutes, that's a lot of video calls. Right. We've really brought video calling into the mainstream. Terrific. Is there going to be a time when I'm going to be able to, on my TV from my living room couch, watch a show along with my relative in Korea and talk about it at the same time? That's exactly the kind of uh, innovation that we're allowing by creating video calling in the software. Terrific. So I want to take this back to Washington a little bit, Josh. How does this relate to some of the policies at play at the Federal Communications Commission and other agencies in terms of broadband adoption and net neutrality? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, this is a great example of what happens when you allow innovation at the application layer. When we don't rely on the ISPs to dictate what kind of content and applications are and are not uh, allowed. So what we've done here is by creating a video conferencing software, we can take a PC or a flat panel TV and turn it into the video conference center of the home. By doing this, we're actually driving demand for more broadband adoption. This is one of the reasons why families across America are going to want to pay to buy a faster, uh, higher quality broadband connection. And that's good for the communications industry, it's good for the television industry, it's good for innovation, and it's good for America.